This video presents an overview of the functionalities and information contained in Box 5 of Keza. In Box 5, the user can generate exposure scenarios for the extended safety data sheet from the chemical safety assessment data and modify and customize their content. The information on operational conditions and risk management measures generated in boxes 2, 3 and 4 needs to be communicated in the supply chain using extended safety data sheets, preferably through standard phrases. In box 5, Keza can automatically generate exposure scenarios for communication to be attached to the safety data sheets also known as SDSES. The exposure scenarios can be generated either in print or in XML format. A prerequisite to generate the exposure scenarios for communication is the availability in Keza of an external catalogue of standard phrases. This could be, for example, the SCOM phrase catalogue developed by industry under CEFIC management. If this has been previously imported in the library of Keza in box 6. Once the import is done, the default exposure scenarios for communication are automatically populated with the phrases from the catalog. Then, by clicking on generate SDSES, the printed version can be generated automatically. It is also possible to generate the SDSES in most of the EU official languages, since Keza 2.3 contains an SDSES template for each of them. However, the generation of the full document in the Czech language will depend on the availability of the standard phrases in that language. Nevertheless, if a catalogue to be imported is not available, Keza provides default standard phrases for specific determinants which result in italic phrases in the exposure scenario. When needed, it is possible to revise all use-specific information that will be reported in the exposure scenario for the SDS by clicking on a use in the lifecycle tree. The information is shown on the right-hand side of the screen and it is divided in four sections. Section 1, where the short title of the exposure scenario is displayed as it will be reported in the table of contents of the generated SDSES. Section 2, reporting the conditions of use affecting exposure. It is organized by contributing scenario and only displays the standard phrases if the corresponding checkbox has been ticked. Remember that you will need to go to the contributing scenario level to select which standard phrases should appear in the CSR section 3, exposure estimation and a reference to its source. Section 3, exposure estimation and a reference to its source. And section 4, guidance for the downstream user to evaluate whether it works inside the boundaries set by the exposure scenario. Keza provides the user with a functionality to check and modify standard phrases and specific information of the exposure scenario through the editing functionalities available in box 5. In order to do so, first click on a contributing scenario in the life cycle tree. The conditions of use affecting exposure and the associated standard phrases will be displayed on the right hand side of the screen. In this example, we are using an environmental contributing scenario for a use at an industrial site. But the same principles apply also for contributing scenarios for workers and consumers. First of all, by clicking on the Edit icon, besides each condition of use, 
it is possible to edit its description for the STS-ES. In the Modify Description for the SDS-ES window, it is possible to add a specific description for the SDS-ES either by typing it in the free text field or by directly selecting a standard phrase from a catalogue in box 6. To add or replace a description, the Save Specific Description button should be clicked after the editing has been finalised. If the description for the SDS-ES has been typed as free text, the corresponding phrase will appear in the Conditions of Use pane in italics. As a further indication, every phrase that has been added will be marked with a blue icon. Then it is possible to decide which of the standard phrases for that condition of use should appear in the SDS-ES by ticking or unticking the boxes besides the condition of use label. If there is a need to edit the content of sections 1, 3 or 4, click on the Edit button in the toolbar. A pop-up window will appear. In section 1, it is possible to select additional elements to be included in the short title when available or remove any default selection. In section 3, it is possible to decide whether the exposure estimates in section 3 have to be included in the printed exposure scenario and report additional information either in the form of a standard phrase or free text. In section 4, it is possible, if needed, to complement the guidance for the downstream user in the form of free text or standard phrases. After finishing the revision, by clicking the Generate SDS ES button in the toolbar, it is possible to select the exposure scenarios that need to be included in the SDS ES and generate the updated printed version indicating whether the exposure scenario subheadings should be included. The Help Text light bulb icon is available throughout the application. If clicked, it points the user directly to the relevant point within the user manual from where further information on the related functionality can be retrieved quickly. This was an overview of Box 5 of Keza, where the assessor can generate exposure scenarios to be annexed to the extended safety data sheet directly from the chemical safety assessment data. You can find further information on Box 5 in the support page of the Keza website.